Hello everybody and welcome to Higher Plane Games. My name's Simon and this is Motorsport Manager and we're taking a look at the new GT downloadable content. As you can see the main menu is now completely different. We now have five championships to choose from, three open wheel originals but now also two GT ones and notice this new extra content thing that's coming up here and there's already a coming soon sitting there so clearly the DLC train is not finished remember we've still got Steam Workshop and challenges there as well so this video is going to go entirely through what is new with this big new update it was two and a half gigabytes and a lot of it is actually renovations and changes for the game itself but this is also going to focus very much on what is new and the different dynamics of the GT formula because there's a lot of different things at play and if you own the GT DLC all of the things that are interplayed with the GT format can be voted in to your single seater uh, playthrough if you're already playing that or you can go into Steam Workshop and have like your custom rule type stuff and set up your own championships with a mixture of the GT uh, rules or the open, um, open wheeler rules and combine to make your own mini championship which sounds really really good because there's several new things that are on display so um, in terms of setting up your team GT has two tiers uh, we've gone for the top one and just chose the shittest team and this is not going to be a um, video that tells you exactly like how to do things well because it's me it's the channel you should all know this by now this does not happen <laughs> uh, but just to show some different things of how uh, information is laid out when you're going through um, different uh, choices and things like that you will now see the outcome on the right hand side so in my test race to see how the GT formula formula actually works um, we had a brake failure and the lady had to come into the pits and she dropped to last um, so sorry about that Christina <clears throat> so Depending on what we do, you now actually get the outcome on the other side, and none of them are particularly good. So yeah, our brakes were all poor, and we do need to work on improving them. And you can see immediately how much percentage that is using on the marketability, but it's the same across all different things that you do. And so it just really shows you how different, how, how, we, how the immediate effects of everything uh, takes place. You can now see your supplier information over here, which is great because that wasn't available first time beforehand uh, in the new series, so that's great. Um, I love being able to see all of that. <clears throat> in terms of the actual car makeup, uh, we've only got five things to play around with uh, this time round, so you can see spoilers in there and stuff like that as well. Um, so the actual car makeup is different. In terms of the fitting of parts and improving of parts though, that all very much stays the same. Uh, the factories that you get in GT um, leagues generally start off a little bit smaller and poorer. Um, as do all of the actual pre-built teams. They're all around two and a half to three stars, which is really quite interesting. Um, and you have entirely different uh, new drivers that are coming in, designers entirely new set of people to play with if you want them. So that's kind of it in terms of how you'll deal with stuff. You've still got the same sponsor ships and so on and so forth. Let's just move forward because it's the actual racer roos themselves. In fact actually let's let's <clears throat> let's actually do something development wise. Because um, we're losing money left, right, and centre anyway. Let's go for a new spoiler. Uh, and let's go. Move ourselves forward. And let's fit that part with. We done better last time. Edwards did. Oh, but it's going to fail quite clearly. Let's do that. We've got to auto film our performances. Let's do that. And if 
we're looking at reliability I want that spoiler up there uh, and I want those brakes up there <laughs> because that was terrible last time um, okay right let's go to <coughs> Rio I'll just make sure if I got all my sponsors that I can potentially have oh let's get another one in rather quickly they're very demanding these I'm clearly not going to get any of those deals so let's do that because it gets us some doshi <laughs> there we go so so far it's just a very makeup way of dealing with things and some rearrangement on the display of information that we get on the screen I should have done the upfront payment, shouldn't have I, idiot? Never mind, you know what I mean. Uh, right, let's get all of that across. <clears throat> because it's the races itself is where uh, everything changes. <clears throat> And the first thing that we will take a look at will be the setup options for the actual cars themselves. And, <coughs> excuse me, I wish this cold would go away. <laughs> Driving me up the wall. So, yes. Hello, Brazil, in, in pretend. Uh, let's go for you two because you've got more feedback. So let's take a look at the setup options and we've got a different set of things here. So we're still looking at cornering, handling and speed balance, but it's all around ballast and where you place it, essentially. Uh, instead of looking at like what's your spoil rear spoiler, angle, that kind of stuff, it's all around ballast. And so swinging stuff from the front to the rear changes whether you corner um, geared towards low speed corners or high speed cornering and so it's really quite fascinating to try and sit and play with that because obviously it starts to play around with your handling as well and naturally your speed balance so I'm going to go with that we'll go for top speed and we'll go for that as well just for a kick off uh, what you'll also notice as well is that there's only two compounds of tyres and the way how this is formatted because the races are slightly longer in general um, not necessarily of this format because look at the different format that we've got GT wise um, where we're going through a oh, okay you want something completely different interesting yeah, let's do that to begin with and see what's going on. <coughs> let's take practice. Let's send out some people. And we'll go for race trim as per usual. Uh, where you've got two compounds of tyres, sorry, I got off on a bit of a tangent there. Um, this format features three. Um, tiered qualifying. So you've got Q1, Q2, Q3 with elimination happening in between. And so the beauty of that is that if you're trying to get through different qualification sections, you start to use inherently way more tyres because you're always looking for fresh ones. And what I found is that I'd done, I, I'd not quite clued onto this, so I'd done practice sets of tyres um, and I'd moved across sets. Then I got into qualifying and I got a car into Q3, so I'd used three sets of ultra softs. And when it came to the race, um, obviously I had to start on a compound of tyre anyway, but I also had the issue of, oh crap, I'm running out of tyres, I'm now going to have to go onto the slower compound. And they were really slower, and it put my driver way out of position. Thankfully, she had a brake failure anyway, so we were doomed from the start. But it really, that switch from going from just one qualifying session to three qualifying sessions and always aiming higher, 
actually really simulates tyre management way better um, than before. And if we've got these three kind, if, if you could mix that across with three compounds of tyres in open wheelers, I can see that being strategically a really, really intriguing battle of wits, I guess. We push the balance forward, not liking this at the moment. Uh, and there you go, so you can see the uh, feedback is completely different as well, because it's talking about ballast uh, and spoilers and how quickly um, the car corners. Uh, so the actual feedback methodology is completely different. As are the times for the sessions as well. Alright, Edwards. Jesus. So let's pop these and show what's going on. The other thing that you'll see, well, you won't see it right now, uh, but <clears throat> we have fuel to deal with in this session as well, uh, with refueling, which I'd not come across in open seaters yet. Open seaters, open wheelers, you know what I mean. <coughs> I blame my cold. <laughs> right, so he wanted some ballast towards the front. A bit more. So we'll go towards that. Again, and we'll stick with. I'm going to stick with the same tyres because of how quickly you go through things. But it's, it's funny that um, with even less options, essentially, to <coughs> excuse me, play with, it's still really difficult <laughs> to get um, something to work. Of course. The cars look gorge as well. What I do notice as well is that because we're running with <coughs> ultra soft and super soft tyres, the amount of pit stops that are happening per race is really high and it really focuses you on this your changes haven't worked. Okay. Whereas Edwards' changes have. Interesting. No, don't hit each other. kind of how the setup of stuff fits into things. Let's just bring these in and sort that out. And then we'll move forward to qualifying. <coughs> Excuse me. Where these two are moany. Love it. But look at how quickly those tires <laughs> oh dear. Look at how quickly those tires are worn out. 
put them back to their original setups. We're not we're not looking at being competitive with this. I'll do a proper playthrough of GT at some point. Uh, so let's get back. Oh, mind you, there's still an optimum. So, <clears throat> that brings to an end our Clark T. Sashon. We'll move forward to qualifying, and we'll take a look at the three-tiered qualifying session then, and how that works for everyone. Moving forward to qualifying, <clears throat> this will bring into some to uh, course to some of the next things. So immediately you can see that the qualification rules are here. So the fastest 15 progress to Q2, then 10 to Q3. It's a top 10 shootout, uh, and you can see that there's much more prominence in all of these different rules, which I really appreciate because sometimes you get confused <laughs> with such things. Uh, let's grab which setup here. So that setup is better. So let's let's just leave that as the setup for Capello. He will be taking the seat anyway. Uh, and then for you, let's move you back. And then let's. Um. Ah, screw it, let's just leave it as it is. Doesn't matter. This is for demonstration purposes. <laughs> he says. So going into qualifying. <clears throat> you'll see that Q1 is 10 minutes long and each session is 10 minutes long and what will happen is that when you send out a car we now have the ability to automate the uh, clear up air optimization side of stuff so for this this is all about getting your brake temperatures and tyre temperatures up to a certain standard but we can now automate it so that game of sliding things around everywhere hoping for the best you can now actually put in the hands of the AI and I'm assuming that it's like attached to the driver's uh, like mental capacity and strategic ability because you can see it quite happily trying to coax it round it does seem to play more with the tyre temperature than it does with the braking. Uh, and the perfect tyre temperature there for it. Is that, that bodes well, potentially, for us not having a really terrible Q1 and being double eliminated. <laughs> and I did not turn Capello on. Shit. Oh, it's now raining. Oh, for goodness sake. Right, so we're going to have all kinds of shit to happen here, clearly. But, getting over the line, that puts us fifth. That, in theory, puts me through to Q2. Does everyone else want to get slower? Oh good, we won't be eliminated straight away then. <laughs> I 
and look at where on the right hand side we've now got sponsorship objective in the thing. Uh, and in key one elimination, there's potential that she'll get through despite my worst efforts. Yeah, look, Tanaka's slower, Seville's slower. Oh, oh no, no, it's gonna get dry. Shit. And so here's where the problem is because you've got the ultra soft tyres and the super soft tyres you know that going straight back out there again is going to cause you pain because you're going to have to go for a new set of tyres because look, we've lost 15% of it already and look at everyone waiting <laughs> and I have to say this whole cute qualifying thingy bob like format really 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 makes a big thing. Uh, so I'm going to... Everyone's not going to pile out just now, are they? Let's go for it anyway. Uh, not with Air Force, let's go with Capello. Because she is on the bubble, and that's my worry with her. Uh, <coughs> but I'm going to send her out in the same Ultrasofts. Fuck it. Uh, we've got, oh, we're going to turn auto on. I'm not, no, why didn't everyone bundle out? We should have all bundled out, people. Well, we're safe. At the minute. She just needs to get round in time. Which I think we will. Good shout by us to go out though. I, I was gonna send both out, but when I saw no one was going, we were it was worth it. It just says pole position at the end of each session, by the way. <laughs> so don't panic too much. Uh, but again, that's pulled that tyre down so much that we don't really want to need have that when it comes race day. So you then get this uh, elimination stuff. Uh, and I love the fact that they've really helped pull up all of the stats on these people so you can see even more about what they're up to. And also the state of their tyres which is really key because when you start going into Q2 and Q3, um, it's done very much like previous F1 style stuff. Um, and apologies, I don't watch very much GT racing. Um, I'm, not, I'm not sure if it's the same, but whatever's going on in Q2, uh, for the people that get through to Q3, they start their hot, the race on the tyres that they've done their hottest and fastest lap on in Q2. So there you go, the new elimination screens. Let's go through to Q2. And again, we're starting to get this whole <coughs> strategy side of thing, because now there's only 15 cars out there. And I'm starting to think, we're running low on tires. It's only a 33 lap race. So this is like the possibly the easiest and shortest lap and, uh, race out there in terms of actual tires that we're gonna have. But when you're sitting there thinking, oh, Oh no! <laughs> what, what am I going to do? Um, was that better for? Oh, it was better. There we go. Ah, it's all good. We're fine. Let me use that setup, please. Uh, so for this, I'm going to chump it up a little bit, and then what I'm going to try and do is, providing there's no rain coming, which it looks like is the case. going to pop Edwards out now and we're going to go out on a new set of ultra softs and again I'm going to leave this with the uh, you always have to re-switch the auto back on again uh, for each session that you do
they go over, again, I don't really want to uh, catch each other out too much. And it's a good little space. And this gives us enough time just about <coughs> to look at... Oh, I've done the same thing again for Capello. I'm so sorry, girl. <laughs> it gives us the option to do like a quick last minute dash again if we need to. So I think it's phase eight. I, what I'd have to do, because Edwards is now going to be wrong-footed if I go out on the same tyres, is sit and think, oh, do I need to go again? Do I want to go again? And lose those tyres, potentially. I love the dynamics of it. So Capello is not a flaw. I think it was that way to go. But I'm going to leave that as is and just see if we get through or not, because we're only doing the run run. And that could pay us, and I'm saying the emphasis of could, because you never know, pays dividends when it comes to race time, because we'll have more race, uh, more sets of ultra soft tyres if we want to go that route. <laughs> Never mind, too late now. Nice, we've done it. Yay! We're through! Hold on, Hashimoto. For the pole position that you don't yet have. <laughs> And so again, we'll do the same for Q3. Uh, and for Q3, so again, you can see everyone's tire wear going on there. Let's again just take qualifying, just so that you can see what happens. So, you get the eliminated kind of side over there, which is quite nice again. Another chopped version of what's going on out there with everything on the current standings. Now this looks like we're staying dry again. So I'm quite tempted to leave this at the end. And look at this padlock. So the fastest Q2 tyre is locked for the race, according to GMA rules. So that is what we will have to start on, providing the race being a dry race, which I think it was, wasn't it? So let's speed this one up because I don't want to do any more than the one run. Although with this layout, it actually looks way more like Rio than ever before. So what I'm looking for is the track grip to be at its all-time highest and then Edwards can pop out and do whatever he needs to do. You can't go out. Stop being defiant, Mr Edwards. <laughs> Look, those lap times are not quite as quick as before. So, I'm going to go now because that looked like something was going to happen. Oh shit, it's rain. Go. Oh no, no, we're going to be too late. We're going to be too late. Oh, you twat face. <laughs> I'll just bring you in now. Mm. 
save the tyres. I don't think we would have been much better than 10th anyway. I think we could have beat Kaluza or Parisi maybe and that was it. Or Kaluza's done a much better time. So yeah, that's how the new three tier qualifying session works. I really like it. Really, really like it. And again, you can swap that um, qualifying method over to whatever it is that you want to do in open wheelers or what or whatevs. Let's just get this to come to the end and then we'll go forward to race where we will find the other big game changer for um, the GT series and that is the electronic battery essentially ERS. And again, ERS is another thing that you can transfer across between series so long as you've got both packs going. So, we were an idiot, but never mind. So, Racy Roo. there. So the other big thing that we've got, <clears throat> so Capello can start on new tyres which is fab. Uh, it looks like Roberts is the only one that's starting on softs by the looks of it. But the other big thing we've got is fuel. So with refuelling in which I don't necessarily think was an option or a problem that uh, was there before. It's just it's another dynamic for us to play with. Now, how many laps is that tyre supposed to last? Oh, goodness sakes, I'm... Oh, 14, 16. Fair enough. Uh, and you're stuck on that, mate. But that does mean that potentially... <coughs> I could start with less fuel if I wanted to, but I'm, I'm not going to. But did you see that there was the thing that said charge 10%? Do <coughs> my usual. So, as you can see, I'm going to put them straight both onto auto, just so that I can explain them. Here we've got the new ERS grid below. So over the course of time, your battery will increase in charge, and you can do that by harvesting the harvest mode of the battery that's going on here. Um, and you can see an even more, but having 20% less tyre wear. Will probably help the camera if she's able to keep up with the rest. She needs to get around Robert's quickly. Um, and what you'll see is that that will kind of, that battery will continue to do well for us over time, in theory. So the map. But there's two things that we can do with ERS. So, no, traditionally, when we think of uh, ERS or pairs or whatever, oh, Capello gets absolutely bombed there by the two orange pairs. Um, traditionally, you think, right, we'll give it a boost. Um, and let's dive on to Edwards to show how this works. So I'm going to take him off auto. So whilst the green button's on there, you can harvest the battery and it will continue on. You've then got the fuel efficiency mode, which will let us save fuel. Um, and deplete the battery's use over time. Or you can do one big massive boost um, for whatever you want to do. So as we are about to hit onto the main straight, I'm gonna go for the big boost. And as you can see, it goes round. And it essentially keeps going on that boost whilst that blue circle goes round and then you can like re-hit it again. Did you see how good that was? 
for getting you past 11th position. And so that car has now gone back to being into conservation mode. And what you can quite often find is that you'll be having boost battles with people. And, and it's about, because the charge is so, um, not difficult, but it's, um, oh, yellow flag, no overtaking in sector two, again. Nice to see. Sevilla has crashed out of the race, never mind. Oh, Alice Wood has crashed as well. Everyone's crashing. No one cray cray. Uh, so yeah, as you can see, it adds a completely different and new dynamic to things. Uh, and you can use the boost to pass, you can use it to defend, or you can go into fuel conservation mode if you want to try and get home without having to dive into the pits again type thing. So it's really interesting actually because sometimes you instinctively want to go boost, boost, boost all the way. And what I find is that a lot of drivers seem to save their boosts more for the second half of the race. Um, and when they're like coming out of the pit lane, it seems to want to boost at the time as well, so I'll pop that back into the also just to see what happens. So let's speed this up a little bit. Mm. Because you're losing the entire temperature. <coughs> Sponsorship objective over on the side there. Oh, no person's crashed. I had no crashes last time, everyone finished. Interesting. Okay, let's go back down to conservative on the view side of things. Hey, too Nicely done, Edward. Nicely done, sir. quite well in terms of tyre management. Way, way better than I thought it was going to be doing. So the tyres are lasting a long time. The thing is, is that Roberts in 13 is right there with us. And uh, looking like he could very well go practically to the end of the race with his tyres, so that's a slight problem. So again, I could look at potentially having, oh I don't need to, he's dived through anyway into 8th place, loving that, thank you very much, so, where is Capello? Oh, she's up to 13th, they're overtaking people anyway, this is great. I'm glad I'm recording this now, it makes me look vaguely competent. So the other thing that's really, really worthwhile doing is using, once you're out in like your own clear air, is to go screw it, boost. And you can always flip back yourself so you don't like drain the battery completely to zero. Oh, another person's crashed. Wow, that final corner seems to be catching out a lot of people. Again. Save them tyres. Oh, someone's going to run fast. Who's that? Oh, they've decided to dig a go. Right, so we now have, let me check this 
spoiler, it might be damaged. So again, this is the same stuff as to what we have elsewhere. But we're now having to deal with fuel. And actually, because I've been so busy burning fuel everywhere, I'm going to potentially run out of fuel before I run out of tyres, which makes me just instantly go ultra soft <laughs> for the next stop. We're going to be stopping the way way earlier than we should be. So, do I put this up on go ultra softs again we'll have to pit again though uh, but the idea of this is that we can then see right well how much fuel do we need to stick on so we'll go 14 laps again um, yeah, actually. Mm. oh no we've got 10 percent tire uh, 10% increase and stuff. Uh, we'll fix the spoiler because that's going to take a lot. Uh, and what I'm going to do is recharge the battery. So this adds an extra second to your thing and potentially you can overcharge it and it'll explode. But we'll, we'll deal with that chance. We'll try to get your tire temperature back up again. So as you go through, again, you can see all of this repairing, and then a recharge, and there's a mistake, and it's disabled. So, a mistake and a problem can happen just as quickly as that. Uh, so no longer can we <coughs> use fuel conservation. Uh, hello, uh, up to sixth. Is she going to go fifth? She is going to go fifth. Oh, the boost today for that. But she's, uh, she's done it anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Uh, now she's going to have to pick this lap, isn't she? Yes, she is. Right, so let's bring her in. Now she's got 19 laps to go. Do we go super soft or do we go ultra soft and go for a second pit stop? I'm quite tempted with her to go to try this method instead. Oh mind you, we've got a pit for fuel anyway. No, screw it. Uh, and if we but I'm not going to recharge the battery because I don't want to not have anything. <laughs> I'm trying to show you the new thing, but I don't want to ruin it along the way. But as a result, because of the refueling and the tyres and so on, uh, pit stops are way, 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 way longer. Uh, in my humble opinion. On the, on the video that I'm supposed to be trying to show you how it works. <coughs> so we are kind of on our own. Okay, that's okay. Um, so if we're going to have to pit again, we might as well go high on the fuel. Uh, I actually want to be pushing the tyres because that's not good. I'm so going that a wee bit. somewhat informative as to what actually goes on in the GT side of stuff. Oh really? You're just causing all kinds of problems now, I think. 
And there you can see, look, she's gone for a boost because she's scared because the thief is closing her up. And you saw that he was using the boost because he had that little power symbol next to him. So <clears throat> you can use the boost just as much to defend as you can to uh, overtake and so on. So we really lost out on those pit stops. Really, we need a better crew. <laughs> around to things like not having a big fuel tank. Uh, having fuel that uh, not degenerates, but um, our fuel efficiency being terrible. Yeah. So, Pitting. Oh, we can all. We'll be fine. We'll, we'll do it at the next pit stop. We're going to be pitting in a minute anyway. Uh, uh, let's get you down to there. We've done it first because Tim arrives in the pits, that's why. Uh, so we're going to pit you first, Mr. Edwards, I think. So we'll pit you. And actually, we'll put you on the final <laughs> Ultrasoft, so that worked out quite nicely. Uh, we've got eight laps of fuel left, so I'll just do that, uh, and we'll fix the spoiler again. Since it seems to want to fall off at all occasions. Uh, what's that going on? She was using her ERS there. Ah, because she's having a go at someone. Ooh, someone put in. Oh, hello, who's that? <laughs> Someone takes the lead. It's all kicking off here. Some of the suspension, why don't you start though? So, sadly, as you can see, she's trying to save fuel. Well, I don't think it's going to help us very much. We're going to need the quickest smash and dash ever. You can see it's draining the battery, but look at how much better our fuel management is. I wonder if we can do it, you know. It would be amazing if we did. Oh, 
couple of times now. Screw it, let's go for it. It's coming. No, just just deal with it. for us <laughs> well at least I try to keep it entertaining for you oh we're so close but no she's run out of tyres oh, never mind we could have probably pitted and done that and look at how everyone got like blasts for the line so that's kind of how a GT race works. I hope that was of interest. Um, I really, really, really like the DLC and I love, 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 love the fact that you can start to merge all of these things together to make like one proper, proper mesh mash of rules uh, and seasons. And I, I'd be quite keen to see um, <clears throat> definitely the qualifying format go across to open wheelers, but also the um, ERS, I think, is an interesting, you know, inny and outy uh, to be had. So, ah, what a shame. He was the only one that went for one stop as well. Well, it was worth a go. So, yeah, thank you very much for watching here on Higher Plane Games. Uh, my motorsport manager playthroughs continue on Tuesdays anyway, where I'm still playing the open wheeled VLAN. Uh, playthrough in our second season now bop, bop. Uh, and I really really hope you can join me for that uh, if you like what I do please do subscribe and say hello uh, I do things every single day on this channel uh, providing I'm not ill as hell <laughs> so uh, and I've got other products in the description below so you guys take care catch you soon Bye.